Hey everyone, in this video I will show you a few methods to fix the issue with Valorant store is not loading. So please follow the steps with me and let's get started. Okay, first of all, close down Riot Games if it's open and make sure it's not running in the background. So to do that, just go to your task manager. And in here, check to see if Valorant and Riot Games is running, close them. Okay, so the first solution to fix this issue is to add exceptions in your antivirus. So open up your antivirus, in my case it's Avast. If you have AVG or any other antivirus, then you need to follow the same process. So what we need to do, just click on menu and then after that, select settings. Then click on exceptions. Over here, we need to add exceptions for Riot Games. So to do that, just click on add exceptions. Then click on browse and expand local C drive. Look for Riot Games folder and expand it. And the next one is Valorant. After that, live. Then engine folder. And next binaries. And the last one is Win64. And now scroll down to the bottom of the page. Look for Unreal CF subprocess.exe. Make sure to check this one. And after that, click on OK. Then select Add Exceptions. And once you're done, just minimize your antivirus and try the next step. On your desktop, right click on Valorant, then go to Properties, Compatibility. And if you have this one checked, make sure uncheck it. Then just click on Apply and OK. After this one, you need to restart your computer. Next solution is to change or check the DNS server in your computer. So to do that, on your keyboard, press Windows key and R to open up Run. And type in here ncpa.cpl and then just click OK. Over here, choose the internet connection that you're working on. So in my case, I'm working on Wi Fi. So I'm just going to right click on Wi Fi and select properties. And next, in here, select internet protocol version 4 and click on properties. Then we need to select this option, use the following DNS server address. And for preferred DNS server, type in there 8.8, 8.8. .8. And then for the bottom one, which is alternative DNS server, type in there 8.8, 4.4. Just in case you have already selected this option in the past and it still is not working, then you can just choose the top one, which says obtain DNS server address automatically, and just click OK. And next, close all this and open up your command prompt. So to open up the command prompt, just go to search and type in there CMD and make sure you run the command prompt as an administrator. So just right click on it and select run as administrator. Type this command in the command prompt and press enter. After this, give another restart to your computer and hopefully this should fix the issue. And that's all. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider supporting me and subscribing for more videos. Thanks for watching.